Hey folks, welcome to my OBS Tips and Tricks series. In this one, we'll be taking a look at some advanced motion transitions that can add a little bit of spice to your stream. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you will have downloaded it, installed it, and known how to customize it to your own liking, have it set in the way you want it to do, and it should maybe look a bit like this. To get us started, we're going to head on over to the Move Transition plugin page on the OBS forum. Quick note, this stuff's the first link in the description. Also, Move Transition for a single source, that's pretty cool. From here, you'll be able to download the plugin, save it onto your desktop. Next, what you want to do is head on over to your OBS install folder. Normally that's located under the program files and then OBS Studio. From here, you can open up the newly downloaded Move Transition folder and drag and drop the data and OBS plugin folder across and it should ask you to merge the files. You want to click yes and then that's it done. From here if you open up OBS head on down to the scene transitions tab at the bottom click on that little plus button there will now be a new option called move. Select this and that's you. You've got move transitions. In order to customize the transition you want to head into the cog wheel and click on properties which will open up a new dialog box which will give you all the customization options for the transition itself. You're probably wondering what this looks like when you've got it installed and working properly. So we'll zoom out here and we'll take a look at OBS. And down the bottom left, you can see that I've got some scenes set up. I've got a gameplay scene, I've got a just chat scene, and I've got this big webcam only scene. If we want to go from this big scene to the just chatting one, we can swap on over and you'll see that the camera shifts from being full screen and shrinks itself into position while staying on screen the whole time. The same thing happens when you do the swap from this scene to some gameplay. You'll see the overlay goes out to the right hand side, or it's that way, and the camera will stay on screen but it will shift into position just like that. That looks fairly smooth and in my opinion it looks a bit more professional, a bit more fluid. You're not getting things cutting in and out all the time. You can overwrite some scenes to fade and cut when you want them to but in my opinion I think this looks a bit nicer there's a bit more continuity between the scenes as the scenes that match are staying on screen and new ones are appearing and disappearing and that's us done folks thanks very much for watching if you get any questions about this leave a comment below I'll try my best to help you out and if you enjoyed the video hit subscribe check out my other videos I'd greatly appreciate it but for now, we'll catch you guys in the next one.